what is the biggest thing for you as far as getting ready for trying to host the meet and then also trying to prepare the team to participate in the meet? Yeah, well, that is a big challenge. Um, when you are having all 12 teams from both genders here at once, it, it's a big deal. And um, the, the main thing is to try to get as many things done ahead of time as you can possibly do. And then um, the week of the meet, that those things are out of the way and you can do the things that can only wait until the week of the meet. So, um, and you have good help. You have, um, there's people in this building that help us. And, and your assistant coaches are big as far as coaching your kids. You know, um, it's that part, because you, obviously your team can't be neglected. But, and the kids understand that it takes a lot of time and energy. As far as training the athletes this week, the preparation week, is there anything special you do, or is it just kind of status quo? It, it's pretty much status. We try to do, um, I shouldn't say as little as possible, but it's less than they're used to. Um, we're just trying to save their energy for the meet, yeah. What are you looking forward to most during this meet? You got a lot of good athletes going to be competing. Any couple of athletes that are going to stand out for you? Well, we have a couple of events that are biggest for us. Uh, that'd be the shot put and the high jump. Um, we have multiple people in it who could score points for us, but it's also our two best opportunities to have conference champion in the shot, but we do have the defending champion, who's also the conference record holder, Sheree Reeves. And then in the high jump, um, we have a number of girls that could do well there. But um, like last week in Vanessa Johnson, a freshman beat the number one seed in the high jump. So I'd like to see her do it two weeks in a row. That'd be fun. Is there any other athletes that you're thinking that might have a, a better meet that might not necessarily be right at the top, but could end up having a good meet? Well, absolutely. And because of the situation where our spring break is, um, the last two weeks of the season, the two meets of the season, we're not quite um, using all our bullets the best we can because we have kids doing um, exploratory trips and habitat trips and things like that. But um, a big example, that would be a senior, Rochelle Hickerson. I think she's under in all her events, including um, our 4x200 relay, which she leads off in the 60, the 200, the, and she started long jumping this year, something she hasn't done in four years. And so I think um, she could be really huge.